All right, let's try this. Class. Yes. Woo. All right, good job. Okay, the other class sucked. I like had to start over and do it again, and they still sucked at it. Okay. At least pretend like you want to be here. At least pretend like you want to be here. So, page number 41, right? Page number 41, so that means your homework is going to be page 40. Please write those on there so you do not forget. Yes. No. Okay. What? No, what am I supposed to say? What am I supposed to say? Anyway, so we did some of this the other day, and I have to make a correction because in my notes, how many days are there in a year? 365 or 364, depending on, right? So, but on my notes, I specifically, for all my dailies from the previous one, we're supposed to be using 360. For my formulas, it's supposed to be 360. And as long as we're not playing on our phone with earbuds in, then we might be good to go. Take out your earbuds. Don't make me come over there. I will take those. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Anyway, so I'm going to show you some formulas to go along with this to make life a whole lot easier. But first, I'm going to start off with filling this out. So A means accumulated amount. Accumulated amount. P, what does P stand for? We talked about this the other day. What does the P stand for? We talked about 8.1, what does P stand for? Say what? Uh, I wasn't here, okay, I wasn't here. Principal, thank you. And if you weren't here, whose fault is that? And what could you have done instead? We've been doing this all year long, and seriously, <laughs> this is second semester. There's 30 days of school left, and you still can't remember that if you're gone, go watch the video. Okay. Anyway, P stands for principal. Seriously, right in the back of the head, okay? Oh it's got to look like this. <laughs> right there, right there. There's your vector. So, right in the back. All right, so APR, interest rate change to, but the notes say decimal. But if you remember, we write it as R over 100. Because we're solving for R, and it's always going to be the fraction over 100. So when you're doing this, you don't have to actually you know, go crazy trying to find if it's percent or decimal, either way, changing them back and forth. That's why we try and do it like this. Y means years. That was the time that we talked about previously. So they put it in Y. N is times compounded per year. So annually is going to be one time. Semi-annually semi is two. Quarterly is four. Monthly is 12. Uh, weekly. Nope. Nope. How many weeks in a year? There's more than three. More than 31. More than 30. Good guess. Daily, and this is the one that's going to change because I told you I messed up my notes. It's supposed to be 360, not 365. <laughs> now, I'm going to go to another page, and you're going to write these formulas because I'm going to make these formulas so much easier for you. So much easier for you. <laughs> what the heck is 
They're the formulas. Uh, Write it on the paper. Okay, you know that thing that's called a notebook that you're writing in? There's lined paper underneath it. Okay, and whose fault is that? Okay. So, write down these because each one of these is slightly different, but it's your formula for every time. So when you're solving for daily, it's a different formula than monthly. Yeah. Is it times y? Times y, yes. Because in my original formula, it says n y or n times y. And that's where we get those. Hey, have you done your senior quote already? No, yeah, it's too late. That's why I'm asking. Gotta get a tracksuit. <laughs> Come to school in that tracksuit. We'd like super super soaker. Anyway, did you are you guys done writing it down? No. Hurry up. And? Let's see. Looks like people are starting to pick up their phones anyway, so uh, I'll come back to it if you need it. So let's go ahead and try example one. So example one says, suppose you invest four thousand dollars. What is that? What variables that represent? P, my principal, right? So we're filling it in as we go. <laughs> at 8.25% interest. Where's that go? Mm, APR. APR, so that's gonna be 8.25 divided by 100. Compounded annually. Nope. That's my N, very good, that's the N right there. That means how many times, so my N here is going to be annually one. How much money will you have after three years? What's that going to be? There we go. So, after filling in all that, what variable am I looking for? I'm looking for the A. Very good. So, we're going to solve for it looking for the A value. So use that formula that I gave you on the previous page. It's going to look 
a whole lot like that. Say what again? Yeah, kind of, but this is compound. What a compound interest means, every year, it's going to take the interest that we occurred and reinvest that interest into the next year. So what's happening is my $4,000 that's been sitting there for a year, after one year, I earned, I don't know, let's say $100. And so at the start of year two, I have 4,100. So the 4,100 after another year is going to invest and make more money because I didn't invest the 4,000 again. I invested 4,100. So it's compounding. So that means I'm earning interest on my interest. And that's what compound interest does. So did you guys plug it in your hand? You did any calculator? Vector, did you get it? <laughs> so, 4,000. <coughs> Control divide. 8.25. 100. Raise to, so that's a carrot. Carrot. The little symbol right there below or right to the left of the x squared, that's a carrot. That looks like a little arrow pointing up. Carrot. It's called a carrot. carrot. And so that's 1 times 3. So, what happened? It continuously invested itself, and so came out to be over five thousand. So it's five thousand seventy-three ninety-two. Now that's the amount that we occurred, right? What if I want to figure out what my profit was? So to figure out the profit, because you're going to see questions like this, is going to be my A minus my P. So the A value, which we just solved for, I would subtract the P, which is my principal amount, and the amount of money I made just by letting my money sit and make money for me. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what people do, and that's how people get rich. You make your money make money for you. That's what investment does. Now, example two. I would like you people now to do example two on your own. Fill in the... Fill in the blanks as you go.
I'm going to start filling it in. So if you're working, keep working. So we've got 7.5 over 100. Y is 3. Quarterly is minus 4. One of the things that's probably going to catch you guys, this is compounded quarterly. The word quarterly had to do with the number four, right? Oh, no. So that's why the quarterly formula. Oh, no. So identifying which one is super important. So we quarterly formula. So when we do this, it should look like this as I plug it in. It has to be three times four. What What'd you do? Huh? Yeah, three times four. Why? I was going to ask the same question as you. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, sorry. So it doesn't matter if you switch it? Yeah, if he doesn't switch it, if you switch it. So, yeah, so if you want three times four instead of four times three, it's fine. Alright. Yeah, so if you go back to the previous, the previous page with the different types of quarterly formula. Quarterly has 400 on the bottom and a 4 in the exponent. So right here, quarterly, R over 400 and it's 4 times Y. Image oh, I know you're not talking. Hey, you guys shush. Come on, Elijah, shush. Uh, 1 plus, <laughs> control, divide. 7.5 over 400. Oh, ah, same mistake. Uh, oh, it's 400. Wait, 400? Yeah, that's what it is. Man. That's what it says right there on the formula, right? Right on quarterly. Yeah, right. Yeah, I see it now. Damn, look at it. That's so scandalous. 6998.5. Four one. You guys have to be really careful on what it is it's asking for before you start plugging stuff in. All right, let's take a look at my last problem here. Listen up, let's take a look at the last problem. Listen please. Now, annual percentage yield or effective annual yield. Simple interest that gives us the of interest money as compound rate over the same period of time. Now, this is not going to make sense until we're done. not going to make sense until we're done. So you'll you'll understand what it does after we're done doing this. So just plug in and then we'll go from there. So, on this problem on this problem it says when working with AYP, use the compounding formula and always invest $1 and over 1 year Always invest one dollar over one year. So that means my p value is going to be what? 
one. And my y value is going to be? One. Thank you. And then when we're done calculating A, you must do the following to finish the problem. AYP is A minus 1, then multiply by 100 to get my rate. Or percent. There we go. Does it say rate percent? Yeah. To get percent. Now, let's go ahead and do this one. Annual percentage. Annual, so it's going to look like this. It's going to be A is equal to 1, parentheses 1, plus, what's my percent? 8, so it's 8 over, why is it 100? Okay. It's not 100. <laughs> How often is it compounded? Daily. Daily. So, this one's daily, so it's 30, not 100. 36, yes, 36000. Raise to the 360 times how many years? One year. So as long as you're not playing with your phone while I'm trying to do this. I'm looking at the picture. Okay. So it's almost like it's already here on the board. <laughs> I know, but it does. Okay. I want to make sure. Okay. Double check. Yeah. Just in case I got it wrong. No, like, just in case I did it right. Oh, okay. Yeah. I meant to, like, that time. So one, parentheses, one, plus... Control, divide, 8 over 36000. All right, so carrot 360 times 1. Okay, so that's the A value, isn't it? That's the A value. So I'm going to my thing. So my A is going to be 1.08. What's it like? 3 3? 3 2. 3. Yeah, I'll just say 3 3. Because in the number after the 2, it's a 7, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm going to stop right there. That's the A value. And now to finish the problem to get AYP, AYP minus one. So take that answer, minus one, and then times what? One hundo. So what is my rate? About 8.33, right? So a Y P Now, what does that mean? And that's what I'm going to get to here. Didn't my investment invest 8%? But the yield, since this is compounded it's compounded, it's making more money every day. So let's say for instance, my initial day was how much? How much on my first day? One dollar. One dollar. I invest that, right? And then on day two, when I do this again, I have one dollar and one cent. So what I'm investing here is no longer just one dollar, it's one dollar one cent. So by it compounding every day, it's increasing a slight little bit every single day. So in the end, after one year, 
after one year, what it actually is, I actually increased my money, my one dollar, by 8.33% after a year. Okay, that's how much I actually made, 8.33% after one year. That's what this is. It's not the same as this, because that's gonna tell me how much money I'm getting. I'm investing it at that rate. But in the end, I came up with 8.33%. That's what that is actually doing. So it's really not like, it's not the same as this, the compound interest daily. It's what I would get if it was considered simple interest over the course of a year. Does that make sense or no? Is that still nonsense? Angela? He's no doubt there. Does that make sense? You understand that it's not the same as the compound interest, right? It's just how much money I actually made after a year. I increased by 8.33%, a little bit more than just a regular 8%. Yes? No? Maybe? No? No? Okay. All right. So uh, we have about 15 minutes of class left. So I'm going to have you guys work on your assignment. And your assignment is on page number? What is it? 40. Thank you. 40. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification. And uh, I got a new promo code for this month. Uh, the new promo code, I had one of my students from my last class come up with it. D, J, B, E, R, B, E, R, I think it's B, E, R. S, I? Yes, 10% off. 10% off the merch store. All right, like, share, and subscribe, use the promo code, 10% off.